John McEnroe feels Novak Djokovic will experience some bitterness on his return to Melbourne for the 2023 Australian Open. It was a mere 12 months ago when Djokovic was embroiled in the controversial saga which would end up in his deportation before the major got underway. He was subsequently handed a three-year visa ban, but that decision was reversed by the Australian government back in November. The 35-year-old is now back in Melbourne with the Australian Open getting underway in a week's time. There's no danger of last year's saga repeating itself, but McEnroe believes Djokovic will go through an emotional rollercoaster when he takes to the court next week. I think he will be overjoyed at first, but then there is going to sort of be a bit of bitterness, I believe, and he has got to get through that, McEnroe told Eurosport. I think he can get through that, he's obviously proven that he has gone through some unbelievably difficult obstacles, none more so than the last 12 months of his career. The fact that he was still able to go out and win Wimbledon and go out and play these smaller events in the fall to get his ranking high enough so that he can go and win the event in Turin and the year-end event, and embrace playing and competing, was just incredible because it would have been very easy to be frustrated and angry. I can only imagine how he felt when he was deported out of Australia and subsequently dealing with that. I don't think he was right until Wimbledon, but somehow he found it, and again, so few players will ever be able to do. There is a reason why these guys. I used to think, I won seven singles majors, and now I'm like, oh my god, these guys are at 22 or 21 feet or whatever the hell it is. You are like, man, I should have tried harder or done something. They make you think you didn't do nearly enough and that's a credit to them. Djokovic was given a warm reception last week as he touched down in Australia for the Adelaide International. And he went on to win an epic final against American Sebastian Corda after saving a championship point in the match. Djokovic looked on course to lose the final after going down 5-6 in the second set. He cut a furious figure following the opening set though, which took an incredible 73 minutes to finish. During the changeover, Djokovic could be seen angrily gesturing to his player box before his brother, Marco, and agent were seen walking out. He managed to put the issues to one side when it mattered most though to record an impressive comeback. It's the 92nd title of his illustrious career and the serve will be hoping to clinch his 10th Australian Open trophy later this month.